New details in the grisly murder of a San Jose woman. Police have made an arrest. The suspect, an alleged gang member from Central America with a violent criminal history. And this isn't his first run in with the law. 24 year old Carlos Eduardo Arevalo Carranza is now facing charges in the stabbing death of 59 year old Bambi Larson. KPI X Files Lynn Ramirez is in San Jose with the controversy over the suspect's immigration status. Len? That's right. Federal immigration officials say the suspect in this case had nine previous ICE detainers on him from Los Angeles and Santa Clara County. Now, those detainer requests to hold the suspect in jail beyond his jail term were ignored, allowing him to get back out on the streets. Surveillance video taken in the early morning hours allegedly shows the suspect walking the San Jose neighborhood where hours later Bambi Larson would be found brutally murdered in her home. Police arrested 24-year-old Carlos Eduardo Arevalo Carranza after matching his DNA from a recent drug arrest to crime scene evidence taken from Larson's home. Critical evidence was recovered along the suspect's path of egress on no field, including t-shirts which contained the victim's blood and the suspect's DNA. Larson, a 59-year-old biotech manager, was found murdered from several stab wounds to her neck and torso by family members after she failed to show up for work on February 28th. Police identified Arevalo Carranza as a transient and a gang member who lived in a nearby homeless encampment who might have been stalking his alleged victim. It really looks that the individual knew exactly where they were going. Federal ICE officials identified Arevalo Carranza as a Salvadoran national who was arrested for illegally crossing the border in Texas in 2013 and was deported. But he apparently re entered the U.S., committing several other crimes, including battery, false imprisonment, and several drug offenses. ICE says they have filed nine previous detainers on Arevalo Carranza, three in Los Angeles County, and six in Santa Clara County. But ICE says the detainers, which are a request to notify immigration officials, before the suspect was released from jail were ignored. Chief Garcia says something has to change. Let me be clear. We are here to protect and to embrace our otherwise law-abiding undocumented residents. We are not here, nor should we be here, to shield admitted gangsters or violent criminals regardless of immigration status. Now, this case is sure to add to the debate over California and Santa Clara County sanctuary laws. I just checked with uh, county officials. They told me that uh, these detainer requests that come on uh, over suspects uh, regularly have been found to be unconstitutional in several other states where they have been tested. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.